All right, uh, welcome to the Ravid Show. Imam, Imam is the co-founder of Contexa. I'm pretty excited to have Imam on the Ravid Show. Pretty excited to discuss more about the data analytics space, about yep. what Contexa is doing, and also about the Rishi Sunak tweet. <laughs> ah, okay. So, what does Contexa do? That's probably the first thing. Yeah. So, I think the key thing uh, around when people are thinking about how to use data right. is what they don't realize is you have to join all the data up first so that you've got the full context before you then worry about have I got a machine learning model or some scenarios or deep learning. So, I'll give you an example. Right. If you're going to buy a house, you don't just look through the letterbox and say, hey, this house is great, I'm willing to pay this much. Exactly. You actually go in, you look around the house, you understand the closet space if you're American, it's an important thing, rooms and everything yeah. else. And that's kind of like your internal data. But you don't stop there. You then look around outside, nice. schools, public transport, crime rates, it's kind of like your external data. True. And only when you've got all of that context do you then make a decision. And it's the same for a computer. You cannot expect it to make a decision just looking through the letterbox. So context is what we do at Quantexa right. to help make better decisions. Okay, this is pretty interesting that in first of all, good example that you've given us, yep. it kind of clears up a lot of ground for a lot of people in terms of also understanding decision intelligence. Yep. So uh, a little about uh, the themes that we've been listening at Gartner in the yep. last three days, uh, what are your key takeaways and what do you think, where's the space moving? Okay, so the term decision intelligence hasn't actually been around that long. Yeah. Everybody knows the traditional term business intelligence. Right. Business intelligence is where people take the data, bring it together, present it to someone and someone makes a decision. Decision intelligence is a new approach. You bring the data together and then the computer tries to make the decision when it can using an AI model or a composite AI model. Right. That may be fully automated, but more often than not, it's what's called an augmented decision. So the big picture is presented to a person with some recommendations and it points out in the data what might be important, and then the person makes a decision. Right. The key behind this is the decisions are more accurate, so you don't spend time on false positives and all this thing and you can make the decision far quicker because you have to check this system, check that system. and So that's what decision intelligence is about. Okay, this, this is a pretty interesting insights and in, uh, I love how you share all those examples. Yep. So thanks for doing that. Uh, another quick question that I have is around how do you see the future of decision intelligence? Because we are in that yep. space, obviously we've been, uh, it's evolving every day with the yep. AI, with LLMs coming in. Yep. So how do you see it evolving? So I think people get very fixated on the AI component. And when you really boil the AI side down, it's a bunch of data scientists doing some interesting models on the data. The question is, how do you make that practical and useful? Right. So as well as what I described about preparing the data on the way in, there's then how do you operationalize the AI? Exactly. And that's all about, do I connect it directly to a digital channel? Do I get my CRM system or workflow system, whether that's kind of a Salesforce or a Dynamics or whatever else, to call an API mm. to say, should this be rooted here? Should it go there? Should we make this payment or not? And should I have a human in the loop to check? Right. So the future around decision intelligence is making those AI models actually do real work in a real environment. The wow. concept of operations. Yeah, we see the real value coming out pretty sure. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's the, that's a pretty good point. Thanks for that, uh, Imam. Another question, uh, we saw the tweet by Rishi Sanat. Tell, yep. tell us more about it. Okay, so Quantex is an interesting company. I think in our early days, yeah. the UK government decided to make an investment into us. Wow. And uh, that investment obviously is paying off well for them. But we've also uh, part of what's called NSIF, which is a national security um, consortium of how to get new technology better used in UK government. Right. So there's an awful lot of different things we're doing in and around UK government. But equally, the UK government is very keen to promote AI and right. technology. Right. And this year, we're the first unicorn, $1.8 billion, wow. to emerge in the tech sector in 2023. So 
we're a poster child in a way for the UK government and, and their mission as well as helping them with many different things. Very well done by Contax. I can only imagine what's the next, uh, you know, the next step in the decision intelligence world and can't wait to see all the progress. Yep. Uh, uh, but this was amazing. Thank you very much You're Tom, welcome. Uh, for doing this uh, and uh, you, looking sir. forward to definitely having a longer form content with you and discuss more about Contax and its story. Yep. Uh, it's such a pleasure to have you on The Rabbit Show. Thank you for the invite. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you very everyone much. Thank for you. joining us today. Okay. Bye.